The first impression that I had of this country when I stepped out of the airport, it was really humid and really hot. And so living here, it's like a perpetual Mississippi summer, which is really cool because I like hot weather. Hi, I'm Andrew Funderburg, and I am on global internship with Bethany College of Missions in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I don't know everything about the culture. I don't know everything about the language. And so communicating in that way, it throws you at a loss and you feel out of place. You feel like you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, even though God has called me here. And so the biggest way that I've grown in my relationship with Him is getting to the core of who I am, and that's Jesus Christ. God's creativity, like His hand, is so evident here. And it's just so incredible to see how He created these people and the way they think, the way they interact with each other, the deep appreciation that they have for His forgiveness. Because here, forgiveness is like one of the hugest things um, you can offer someone. When I went out one day to meet with another friend of mine, she recently became a Christian. She was Lao Buddhist. And she was explaining to me the struggles that she's had with God's forgiveness, like just understanding it. Because to forgive someone, that's one of the greatest honors you can bestow on someone else. And so when she heard that God forgave her of all of her sins, it was monumental for her. But she thought, how can God forgive me of all of these wrong things that I've done when it takes me almost an entire year to truly forgive someone else and truly mean it inside of my heart? Seeing that and her appreciation for God's forgiveness and what He's done for her has grown inside of me a deeper appreciation for what God has done for me and learning not to take for granted the great things that He has done. I love the people here and the relationships that I've built and that are still growing. I think once you go beyond the surface level of relationship, you're able to grow in that relationship because you're hitting on deeper things. One night I went out with some friends and we were eating at a restaurant and I don't know how the subject came up, but we started talking about uh, pornography. and. They said, oh, we can't help but like see it and look at it and everything like that. When I said, oh, well, I don't watch that, you know, they're like, well, why don't you, you know? 99% of all men watch porn. And I was like, well, I'm the 1% that does it. And I was able to explain in that moment that I am fighting for my purity, purity of my eyes, purity of my heart, um, because I want to be able to tell my wife one day, I fought for my purity even before I married you. And so in that moment, they're like, wow, oh my goodness, you can't find a lot of people like that anymore. And they're like, oh, you're so good, you're so good. And I said, that this is for God, because of the purity He's placed within me. This is for His glory, and not my own. The biggest hopes that I have in finishing out the next six months of this internship is to be persevering, to be persevering in the language, in continuing to speak into relationships and growing from there, but most of all growing and being persevering in my relationship with God. And in my time here, these last nine months have been incredible. God has just revealed so much more of His grace, His mercy, and His love, strengthening my identity in Him, strengthening my core. And my core is meant to be Jesus Christ. And I think that's the biggest thing that I could be thankful for.